We're here at Crazy Horse Memorial in Hill City, South Dakota. The blasting and sculpting started in 1948, almost 75 years ago. Today, that's just impossible to even comprehend because we want instant gratification. The story is a marvelous story. It was Chief Sitting Bear who was educated and had to understand the ways of the white man. And so he was educated in a boarding school in Pennsylvania. And he came to the conclusion that the culture would be lost, not with the sword and guns, but with words and ideas. And so he commissioned a sculptor to sculpt a crazy horse for the legacy of the Indian people so that the Indian culture wouldn't be forgotten for many generations. And during his vision uh, and his lifetime, along with the sculptor who dedicated his entire lifetime to to creating the sculpture, they've created a museum and an education training center for the Indian people, the Lakota tribe. Uh, it's a fascinating story. It's one that I didn't know. Uh, it reminded me a couple of things. Um, one, there was a statement on there um, that I thought was important. They've never taken any federal money, no government money whatsoever. Uh, one of the chiefs said they have made many promises referring to the government and they have fulfilled none of them. Although they did make one promise that they would take our land um, and that one they actually did. So uh, there's some animosity of the Indian culture toward the federal government uh, just for their lack of follow through. It kind of sounds like today's culture with many people are disenfranchised with our current government. But anyway, the legacy is this. Here's somebody who's devoted his entire life to serve others that is going to be a story that's going to outlast him because this sculptor died uh, many years ago and now his grandchildren are taking on the task to finish the project and so his story was part of a bigger story and that's really the question that I have for you today what's going to be your story and I hope that your story is part of a much bigger story and that you take the time to think about what your story is going to be.